What's going on the guys, Croc here and welcome to some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. Now I am producing this yet again on my fantastically crappy PC which will take ages to fucking render out. Uh, but that's okay, I actually had a busy ass day uh, and I thought to myself I'm not gonna upload today but then again, um, you know, what the hell, uh, I got everything done kind of early so I thought to myself, you know what, it, this video is probably gonna get up there by 8, 9 p.m. so that's not that bad. See, I hate uploading videos at night because nobody sees them. Everybody just wakes up and my video gets pushed down all the way down to on the bottom of the sub box. As I almost burp here. Uh, but you're watching some old Modern Warfare 2 gameplay that I got like fucking last year. Uh, but it's a pretty good gameplay, I actually rewatched it and it, it's pretty decent, so I hope you guys enjoy uh, running that silenced ACR, but I think I use the M1014 a lot as well. Um, so yeah, the many features of Call of Duty Black Ops 2, uh, you know, with Gamescom, I think it's over by now, uh, with Gamescom being over and Treyarch streaming every other day or something, uh, we got... I mean, we've learned a lot. The only thing that I don't really like, and I touched it, touched on it a little bit on in my previous video, is how they're pushing all this MLG stuff, you know, down our throats. They keep repeating themselves, and it's obviously meant to be a selling point of the game of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. The, you know, oh, you can podcast. It's good for commentators. Blah blah blah. I mean, it's obvious what they were aiming at. I mean, Treyarch is probably gonna get millions of dollars worth of contracts with MLG, you know, to get their game out there, to set events in US and maybe outside of the US. Uh, so, you know, Black Ops 2 being a competitive game, that's fine with me, I don't mind. Uh, same thing goes for the skill matchmaking. Uh, I mean, yes, it does suck to run into parties, uh, like full parties. Uh, sometimes, obviously, you're gonna get your ass whipped, but that's, you know, that's the nature of the game. You, If you play solo and you run into a party, expect to get your ass kicked. I mean, if it's a well, like, skilled party, then obviously, but you, there, there are ways around it. And I have videos on my channel where I pretty much demon, uh, de demolish, excuse me, demolish. <laughs> parties as well, uh, so it really goes both ways. Uh, but I want to hear your guys' opinion on the whole COD casting thing. Do you actually think that people are going to use it? Or is it going to be strictly a, you know, kind of... I mean, I can see definitely some commentators using it on YouTube. Like, you know, implementing the feature, CODcast, this and that. Uh, there, 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 can be, there can be plenty of series made out of it, but in the long run, do you see yourself actually using these, you know, new features in Black Ops? Um, on a, I guess on a daily basis or something, so leave your comments in the comment section below and if you could support me, um, support this channel by clicking the thumbs up button on this video, it would be fantastic. Let's try to go for 800 likes. Uh, I should make a fucking t-shirt out of it because I sound like an answering machine, uh, but you know, that's just how I roll. Um, I really wanted to uh, mention this whole podcasting thing a little bit more in depth because I really hate when gaming developers go for that, but, you know, that's that's just how it is. Just like with Medal of Honor, if you pre-order it, there's like a big-ass fucking Battlefield 4 sign, and it's obviously, you know, it's going to be a, a big selling point uh, for Medal of Honor Warfighter. I don't want to say, I don't want to tie the two gaming series together. I mean, my uh, buddy, Old Bean himself, actually touched on this in his commentary, uh, how Battlefield 4 is kind of, you know, pushed down uh, Medal of Honor's Warfighter throat so that the people will buy the game just to get the access uh, to Battlefield 4 but you know it happens that's that's marketing and uh, that's what's called that's what Call of Duty is doing at Gamescom or at least they did uh, you know they were showcasing repeating themselves all fucking constantly how you know this is good for the commentator blah 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 and it's fine and dandy but like I said I'm a typical you know Call of Duty player I mean I want to see perks I want to see kill streaks and we did witness a lot of you know perks a lot of kill streaks a lot of this a lot of that but the focus was really put on competitive gaming and that's fine I mean they're gonna get a lot of money out of it even more so than what they're gonna get in sales plus the MLG contracts you know to set up events around the United States and around the world like I said it's gonna add more to their pockets so uh, I'm really interesting interested to see what you guys think about this uh, whole deal I mean again to touch on a little bit on the true skill matchmaking or whatever I mean I don't have a problem with it like I said uh, it goes both ways with with the party system I guess now people won't bother you <laughs> if you're going against noobs or whatnot uh, but I can see it definitely being kind of a bother for some players I mean I don't know how they have it perfected to a point where a newbie player cannot run into a full party. I mean, I don't see it working like that at all. 
it's probably going to be a little bit broken but what what is also important is the post game patches uh, because we will fucking dismember that game once it comes out um, you know we've learned our lesson from Modern Warfare 2 to check every single feature of the game to maybe push the developers into patching something or into fixing something I mean these games look how fast 2012 is going it's already August I mean Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter will be right at our doorsteps sooner than you think I mean I fucking start college again next week and I just realized that today uh, so that's gonna be quite a bother but then again you know I'm a quote-unquote veteran in college so I don't really give a crap I, I, I actually like college it's very uh, it's a very cool place to be I mean obviously the assignments fucking suck and the books are expensive as hell but you know it ain't high school and I didn't really like high school because it was oh it was a fucking drag I mean I like the people. What the fuck am I talking about? Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe I'll talk about high school and college in my next commentary. So, final score is like 29 and 1 and I joined in late. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.